So when I used to uh, go to Mjolnir, I would teach my classes, but I always would do the Viking Trek while I was there. I just enjoyed it. It is a boot camp style of class in, in terms of you have between 20 and 40 people in a room and they're all doing exercising. So, so that is generic enough. There's a bunch of them around Dublin. There's a few things unique about Viking Trek. Certainly I haven't seen anywhere else. It's barefoot. Right away that's different than most. And I like that idea. I think we're all getting a bit too much with, with different shoes on and our feet being formed into set positions. Now we as martial artists that are always on the mats barefoot anyway, we're a lot more tactile and used to our feet grabbing and moving and bending in ways. I think that's a very healthy thing. One, there's a strength element. I don't like the idea of just doing cardio. I think there should be, should be lifting heavy things in there. The health benefits for that are out, out the window. Bone density and muscle structure and prevent injury prevention and boosting testosterone and, and, and all of these good things. For women, they always have a bit of a fear. Oh, I lift heavy weights, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get huge. If that was true, every guy would be huge. It's not easy to get huge. Uh, it certainly won't do that for you, but it will tone you up and make you strong. And the type of calories you burn from a squatting session is far greater than any 45 minute run you can do. So I like there's a strength element. Now to go along with that, then there's a technique element. So before you even do a Viking Trek class, there's actually weeks of training you have to do to learn the proper swings, the snatches, cleans, all the techniques that we use with the kettlebells. So you're not just day one, you're part of the class, which you could do if you're just going in and you're, you're on a treadmill or you're on a bike, you're on battling ropes, you're punching in the air. If you're doing all that, don't need a whole lot of training. You just go straight into it. But with Viking Trek, you actually do have to do a 101, a beginner course, and then you're on the regular training. So we're on our way to Wellfest um, to show the Irish public Viking Trek for the first time. Hopefully it's going to be a big hit. I like it's technique orientated. I like that there's a strength element. I like that it's barefoot. There's a martial arts element. So we use techniques from kickboxing and from uh, grappling and from MMA. So that makes it kind of fun. Sometimes I tell those people and they kind of go, oh, it couldn't be, but I am the laziest person in the world. You will not get me going into a gym to go on a bike for half an hour. Cannot do it, cannot do it. Bored out of my head. I want to either do a sport, that's playing again football or rolling jujitsu or doing Viking Trek, it feels like a sport to me because there's so many different activities on it. You know, you're going from one exercise to the other. Sometimes you're hitting the pads and next thing you're on a skipping rope and then you're swinging a kettlebell. It's, it's interesting, it keeps my mind occupied. It's one of those things that you've done 45 minutes, 50 minutes, the class is over. You're wringing out your t-shirt and it felt like those two seconds. And there's Kira to ruin my shot. <laughs> so for me to do some sort of fitness program, it's gonna have to be interesting. So I'd rather go out to be sport oriented, like I'd rather go out and play a game of tennis, and football, anything like that. And then at the end of it all, realize my t-shirt is ring on wet. At the end of it all, feel a bit of a burn in my legs from, from lifting something. Rather than uh, thinking about going to the gym to do that, I'm like, oh God, I don't want to do this.
because I've trained with John before and the lads and I was so fit and then one of those classes I don't think it was even a full class it's so hard cardio wise it just shows you where you're at which is pretty damn bad but I loved it it's just great fun <laughs> So if I'm being 100% honest, I'm being in Vegan Trek to Ireland for just myself. I'm being absolutely selfish about this. I know if it's in my gym, I'll do it. Uh, because I actually, I actually kind of like it. And it'd be nice if a couple of, a couple of hundred people would join along with me and do it with me. And there's a great uh, buzz that goes along with it as well. Mjolnir, the gym in Iceland, they've really captured this well. That They've got hundreds of people signed up to the program, but they seem to all know each other and they have their certain days to go and you see them arriving on Tuesday at 7 p.m. and their, their buddy is there and they're like, okay, let's today, let's push it a little bit more than last week. A lot of cheering going on during a session, high-fiving, and it's just, it's just a real good buzz. That's what we're trying to capture in the next one. Hey, guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Oh. Well, I guess that's a good. I guess that's a good ending. <laughs> okay, my arms. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>